Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. As a pastor, or even more so just as a priest, it humors me sometimes when I people puzzled, whether they speak to me or about me, trying to figure out what my political persuasions are from my preaching. And this always humors me because inevitably, when I speak on any topic that in any way intersects with politics, I can preach from the gospel and simultaneously find people who thought my, my take was too liberal and too conservative from the same talking points. And the reason this brings me great humor is this would, would certainly be true if we have just viewed everything through a political lens. But in fact, as Christians, we are called to be politically involved because we live in the world, but we're not called to be politically motivated. What do I mean by this? Well, in today's readings, not only in the first reading do we hear against warning, you know, a warning against affiliation with the unprincipled, but more importantly, in the gospel, we hear a trap that is set for Jesus. A question is posed to him about the census tax. Should we pay it or not? It seems like a practical enough question, but in fact, they don't care about the answer. It's a trap for Jesus. After all, if he says that it is lawful to pay the census tax, then he's, he can be perceived to be siding with the Romans, and therefore he's against his own people. But if he says it's not lawful, then he's making himself an enemy of Caesar, and he's a revolutionary. Of course, as we see in the gospel, Jesus disarms the question by saying, pay to God what is God and to Caesar what is Caesar's. But his disarming of the trap, the reason the trap doesn't work, is Jesus is not politically motivated. The truth has political consequences, but he's not politically motivated. So it should be for the Christian in the modern world. Every time something new happens, and these days it seems weekly, almost daily, something to stir up, and you can see the outcry from all sides. For example, in our country, you can see the rise from, you know, from, from all political factions, and everyone has their spin take, and it seems that it's all so predictable. Beyond the issues themselves, the responses from people involved are predictable. After all, if you're, say, a Republican, and a Republican says something, then they're right, and the Democrat who opposes them is wrong. Or vice versa, if you're a Democrat, the one the, everything that the Democrat says is right, and those that oppose it are wrong. That's because it's a tribalistic way of thinking. It's about scoring points or getting the victory to politically outmaneuver the opposition. But what about just seeking that which is true and good? This is where Jesus confounds his opponents. And his opponents are on all sides. As we see by the time of the Passion, Jesus is a problem for the Romans because he's causing an uprising. He's countercultural. He causes a problem for the religious authorities. He causes a problem for everyone because Jesus is not clinging to worldly labels. In fact, he is boldly speaking the Father's truth. And if we live the gospel truth, we will find at times affiliation with all kinds of different people. One day, standing for the truth may have us find ourselves allied with group A and opposed to group B, and the next day, holding to the truth may find us allied with group B and opposed to groups C and A and D. It, it changes because no one on earth that is politically minded has a monopoly on truth. Instead, we should not seek worldly answers, affiliation, partisanship, but we should in all things seek the truth. If we follow the Lord Jesus, if we follow the gospel and the teaching of the church, in one sense it can make life uncomfortable. We won't find a clean resting place with any earthly group. But at the same time, it will find us at peace, even amongst the storms of the passing world. And so, my brothers and sisters, as society seems ever more divided, rhetoric ever harsher, more vindictive than ever, may we not fall into the temptation to follow these trends. But may we instead remain calm 
and secure in the peace of Christ, and seek the truth and live it wherever it may be found. May God bless you all.